but raid you. That was cool. Video number five out of six. We're almost at the end of this case. Just four more boxes. Let's see what we can get. I still, I think there's still one alt art that I'm missing. I may be crazy. I may just be making this up, but I believe the Vinsmoke, there's one Vinsmoke bro that has an alt art. And I've been talking about this for weeks. I don't actually know that for sure because I didn't pull it in Japanese and I haven't pulled it in English. So bless him. I'd say there's a better chance that that card actually doesn't exist and I'm just making that up. Tell me if I'm wrong. You could. I pay attention to my own cards a little more than I pay attention to these cards. I make my own cards at kaizokucards.com. I don't know if you've seen it, but here, check out this cool uh, Gecko Moria. It's got like the shadow and the texture, but this is one that I made. And you can buy cases that have the leader text on them so you can play them in the game. But this is a pretty cool Eternal Moria on my website. People like it. It's like a nightmare face. Pretty cool looking. I have the alt art over there somewhere. But enough about my cards. Let's look at real One Piece cards. There's our secret. That means we're gonna have one more hit in this box. Could it be an alt art Zoro, but Zoro manga rare? That would be cool. I think the Zoro manga takes an alternate art slot. And I feel like the Zoro manga and the Treasure Nami, I feel like they put those in two hit boxes, not three hit boxes. You know, because there has to be like something that you look forward to. There's got to be something better about the fact that these boxes only have two hits in them, right? Like, that's it, you know? But we'll see. I'd be fine without pulling Treasure or Nami. I would much rather pull a Manga Zoro. I have not pulled a Manga card in quite a while. Uh, I think it was set five. The last Manga I pulled was Manga Law. I think I pulled, I pulled three Mangas in set five, but I opened a lot of set five. And I think mangas were a little easier to pull in set five because I pulled two laws and one kid. And then Fresky B pulled the Luffy like a maniac on stream. I don't know if y'all were around for that stream, but that was like legendary status shrimp and power. I've never seen anything like that. It was their first stream ever. And boom, Zoro or Luffy, manga rare. Of all the mangas to pull, she pulls the most valuable manga rare ever. Like it was nothing kind of crazy all right what is the alt art going to be we should be coming up on the alternate art how about a vin smoke reju how about that yeah vin smoke family not judge but reju that was cool i was asking for her thanks for coming by so happy to have you in my collection. I need four of these because I definitely want to play Reiju. I think this deck's going to be really fun. I've heard a lot of stuff. Adakai's been really up on it. I like his content. I like the stuff he makes. So I got to test this out because this card is hot. It's the same artist that did the art for OP1 Boa. Um, if you have seen the OP1 Boa art, you can see the similarities. They actually have a very similar pose in uh, both of those. All right, we got one box left. Reiju would be an alt art that I'd be happy to pull multiple copies of in a case. I think we also pulled one Onami in this case so far. So if another one just wanted to show up, would be cool. But I wouldn't be mad if I pulled a treasure rare Nami. You know, bless them. I wouldn't be like angry about it but i would rather pull a radio i guess if that sounds crazy i could be crazy for saying that i think the treasurer nami's more oh kozuki momo no suke so there's just gonna be a secret rare in this i think actually no i think one of these boxes is supposed to be a double alt box and then two of them that are left because there's only out of including this one there's three boxes left in the case and we understand now that in the top of the case there are just two alts and in the bottom of the case is where there's our secret rare. So that's it. That's it for the hits in that box. Until next week, I'm a dentist. Thanks for coming to check it out. Can't end without a dental tooth tip. This is a little joke I like when I'm talking about dental tooth tips. You know, the tip of your tooth is actually relative because you have the apex, which is the top of the root, which is also a tip. And then you have the top of the crown. So it depends on what you're talking about. Depends on where you are. 
it's weird in the mouth because you have a midline and it's either away from the midline or towards the midline or it's maxillary or mandibular and then all the pieces are rebel relative to that because the tip of this tooth is facing this way but the tip of this tooth is facing this way but is the tip of this tooth this tip or this tip let's my dental tooth tip. Thanks for coming by. I'll see y'all next week.